Yeah, Cubones again, and I believe winning this would put him back in the top 32, but definitely in loser side. I do not know who he's against. Cubones is using Sheik. I personally uh, don't really like Sheik. He's a, he's a pretty she's a pretty bad matchup for my uh, main, so I'm always gonna cheer against Sheik, but I'll try Akira to be as unbiased. That, Akira. that man's a monster. Shout out to Akiro. That's my homie. <laughs> That's my homie. He he's really good, so. Um, but he, he, he's free on Tuesdays. <laughs> Just like Perkins. Right. <laughs> he couldn't make it today. He was supposed to come with us, uh, with the rest of Chicago. But he couldn't make it today because something happened, uh, something happened with his transportation, I guess, or something. So, um, or he was scared that I was going to beat him on class tournaments. That's probably why. <laughs> also, Cineboo, he couldn't make it either. He's one of the better ones in Minnesota, and he's also in Iowa now for college, but... Yeah. Wish he could have made it too. Two good players that couldn't make it today. Yeah, shout out to Cindy Boo. I don't know if you remember me, but if you do, we should play some matches. <laughs> Alright, we have Greninja versus She. So I guess the Amza wave is beginning, right? We, we, all the Greninjas are coming out. They want to they show the world what Greninja could do. I know about Greninja. It's, he doesn't have great kill pressure, but and his combos are just great, though. But he's, they require a lot of work to rack up the percent. Yeah, definitely. I kind of think uh, Greninja's uh, Water Shuriken is really good neutral, though. It is. It's really I don't think it, I don't think it's, it's good enough to make up for how good Sheik's neutral is, but I think uh, I think it's still Ooh, pretty nice good. Nice counter. What do you think about this matchup? Uh, I feel like Sheik wins it. I mean, I think Greninja has a little bit more kill power, and I don't know how the Hydro Pump will do against that. That's a nice uh, up here. Recovery. But I do feel like Sheik's just a better version of Greninja. I've always felt that. Just faster aerials, safer ones. I see. So I feel like Sheik has the advantage. Yeah, I, I could definitely see that. That was a good vanish punish by Cubones. And Greninja using the dash attack to catch that uh, last frame because when Sheik does vanish, and she uses it diagonally, and when she lands, she has no landing lag. So it was a good option to use dash attack. I did not know that. I was wondering earlier why he wasn't doing it to the ground. Oh, no. Yeah, a lot of uh, Sheiks do that now. Oh! Ooh, oh! oh! Still makes it back with that. I, did, th I didn't know that that was a thing. That was uh, that was, that was a nice display of certain gimmicks that Greninja could do. And Greninja has a really fast neutral air when he like auto-cancels it. It's really That'll fast. It. That's up. And so far, Sheik has the lead. It's definitely not out of Greninja's hands. Like, all he needs is a good oh, up air right back. Just like that. And we are back at even. That's the commentator's curse right there. Commentator's curse every single time. So right now, we have a fish versus a frog. <laughs> a bouncing fish versus a frog. Oh. Oh. Oh, I don't... Uh, I wonder what happens I guess, there. I guess if you use it at a weird angle at the ledge, it kind of has like the whole Diddy effect. Yeah, where the Diddy explosion. Explosion. Greninja just turns around and says, I quit. <laughs> I'm sick of this. Greninja turns around and says, patch me. <laughs> Again. Unfortunately, so that was a pretty close game. No, that was a really Literally good game. Literally 6% to 0. Yeah. I guess his name is Plague. It's cool. It's a cool name. It's better than my name. Like Green Beast. Oh it's my god. Mine. That's Fucking random letters. Yeah. So uh, they're going to woohoo? I hope not. <laughs> I don't think that's legal. It's a gentleman's agreement. It. Congo, oh, Congo jungle. jungle. That's an interesting counter pick. Now this, I know this counter pick isn't uh, legal in a lot of turns, but some turns it is, and in this case it is here. So um, and I know a lot of people don't fight here in singles. So I wonder how how this counter pick is going to work to Greninja's advantage. I'm sure like he went here for a reason, so he must know the stage probably better than he assumes Q-Bones does. Yeah, it looks like he's like, using that uh, central stage advantage being just slower, like really well. So that'll cause a lot of people's like, grabs and attacks to miss. Yeah, but right now the uh, stage is starting to work to his disadvantage. Sheik is getting a lot of good free aerials and, and racking up percent. One thing about this stage, though, is that um, Sheik can't really needle camp everybody here because of the way the um, stage dips in, in in the center. So um, she has to be a little bit more aggressive. And plus, it's going to be harder for her to kill off the top because of the raised ceiling. 
So she can't just hit you with a random up air and expect it to kill you all the time. So I, 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 I actually agree with this counter pick. Yeah, I think that might have been part of Plague's idea, just to uh, stop yeah, that up air, which is the only thing that killed them besides. I think the side blast zones like are further as well. Uh, I do not know that, but I have felt that. Most of the time you diagonal. You're diagonal, so it gives that extra distance anyways. True, true. Nice down throw to Ooh. Vanish! That was great Vanish. Great, great follow up for the kill, predicting the air dodge. And that's the stock. And right now, Sheik has a sizable lead, and she keeps on building it. Once she gets a lead, it's really tough to come back because she's so good at racking on damage that once you finally get the kill on Sheik, it's like already too far away for you, especially in a two stock match. But let's see if Play can pull it off. I'm sure I'm, it looks like he can. He's starting to um, feel the stage a lot more. Grenadier has a really good side tilt. I've never uh, noticed that. Yeah, his, his comes out pretty quick. That's like nice ground game, a lot more than his air game. So it comes out fast. Well, that, was that was a lot of his grab. Really that was a good grab to predict this. Um, to predict this counter. Up air? That won't do it. There's the ceiling. The ceiling. Effect. Ooh. Ooh, nice bouncing fish. Sometimes you just have to air dodge the bouncing fish. There's not much you can do about it. Sometimes. Oh. Oh, he wanted it. Vanish again. He has to watch out for that. Stop air dodging. <laughs> Four throw. Ooh, Four there. Nope. Nope. Still living. Vanish. Is that it? No. The DI is real. Or maybe the ceiling is real. <laughs> nice forward there. This is really going to keep us stable. That's what Four you said. Two. She's just racking up that percent. She's one bouncing fish away from winning this game. With a two stop. Even an up air might kill right now. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Nice down air. Down air does it. That's a rare move from Sheik. And the fact that he used it to kill, that was that was really good. I'm sure uh Plague wasn't um look seeing um wasn't expecting that move. Indeed. It's a good move to throw every once in a while, because people just don't expect it at all. Yeah, sometimes it's not bad to throw those moves that normally the character doesn't use out like I know when I'm Olimar and people are chasing me really high or if I'm off the stage, I may throw out a random aerial aerial or something, like, especially against Sheik. Like, I want to hit her with aerial before she throws out an aerial because if I do that, then she's away from me and I'm happy. Yeah, and I do the same as Rosa. I mean, 